What's up guys? Welcome to another video. Uh, this is part three of the Psalms um, prayer, uh, a prayer of mercy towards the Lord that King David wrote. Um, I'm sorry, I haven't been consistently uploading on time. I accidentally like, just don't know, I don't know, a uh, feeling of laziness came over me. So I just needed to pray more and focus on God so much more. Um, and I accidentally forgot to post on time, but I should be posting each and every day. So sorry about that, guys. Let's get straight into the reading. Today we're reading Psalm 6 verse 3. It says, My whole being is shaking with terror. And you, Lord, how long? So this is a Bible verse talking about someone being scared. And more specifically, King David being scared with terror of his whole body. Uh, God will put us through temptation. God, sorry, God will not put us through temptation, but He will test us, and it's our choice to go through those temptations and, like, be tempted. And so, what? So, well, how does this um, Bible verse talk to us? Basically, it says this Bible verse is talking about how we are going through scary times um, in our lives. The best thing to do is to call on the name of Jesus and pray to God about every single thing. God will all, uh, God will put us through times of difficulty and sorrow to show us the path that He wants us to take. It's extremely important for uh, for prayer about the about talking to God about everything. So, how can we apply this Bible verse into our real life? As a Christian, we need to call it out to the to, out to God about everything and make sure that God knows more than our friends do. So I'm kind of saying, like, if we talk to God every single day about every single thing we go through, it's better than us telling our friends every single thing we go through because God can help us. Our friends can give us advice. Our friends can give us their opinion. But God has a path and a plan for us. And if we talk to God about that, like, God knows everything, but He wants us to tell Him. It's, not a, it's like having a one-sided relationship. God can know everything, but it's better if we tell Him so He can... So he knows he's loved through us because we can say, oh, we love God, but that's just words. Why don't we show him, you know? And so um, uh, as we put, uh, as we put us, as he puts us in situations in our lives, we have to pray for them and, and about them as making sure that God will and making sure that it is God's will that is done, but not our own. So we need to always make sure we pray to God about every single thing that happens in our life, no matter what, because God will put us through times of difficulty, of sorrow, of scared, happiness, joy. Like, it's not just sad times, but yeah, that's how we can apply it. All right, guys, do what you guys need to do when you pray, and let's get straight into the prayer. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for, your, for, you, for my whole heart for blessing me every single day. Lord, I'm so sorry I don't say thank you enough for the things that you have granted me with. I ask for your help, Lord, to get me through every single struggling time I have. Lord, please give me the clear mind every single day when I wake up, and please help me to become more understanding and grateful in all situations. God, I ask for you to help me, to strengthen me in my relationship with you every single day. I know it is me that has to put my first foot out, Lord, but every single day I wake up, there's a bit in my mind telling me that I'm, I'm too lazy or I'm too sad or I'm too scared to do it, but Lord, please help me in my mind to fix my mentality for every single day. Lord, please help me strengthen my relationship with you. Please help me pers pursue the things that you want me to pursue in life. Lord, I don't want to grow my relationship with the worldly things, but I want to grow my relationship with you. Please help me lose, um, please help the lost believers around the world, Lord, that they can find you in their heart. And for the non, and for the believers that do not feel the need to pray to you every single day, Lord, I pray that you can open up their heart and find a special place for them where they know they're wanted no matter what they do and especially for the non-believers too lord i pray all of this in your name lord i pray that everyone feels special and loved because you love us lord with your whole heart you bless us every single day with all the amazing blessings and lord i pray this in your name amen 
Thank you guys for watching this video. I know it's a bit of a quick video, but this is part three of, I think, I'm assuming 10 for the prayer. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys.